Problem of the day number nine. So again, graph and describe the transformation from the parent graph. And again, because you see a cube root here, you know that we have a cube root function. Okay, and again, here is the generic form of the function and the way that the graph typically looks. And again, we just wanna identify the A, the H, and the K, and then graph from there. So in this equation, <clears throat> we can see that the A is negative two, the H is again opposite of the sign that you see. So even though you see a minus one, that means that H is a positive one. And the K is the same sign as what you see. So if you see a plus four, then it's also a positive four. Okay, so A being negative two, again, tells you two things. The negative tells you that it's upside down or a reflection, um, reflection across the x-axis. Okay, and it um, the absolute value of A, so the fact that the A is two, like um, the value is two, means that it's going to be vertical stretch. Okay, so vertical stretch. by a factor of two. Okay, the H is one, so it's positive. So that tells us that's being shifted to the right by one. And the K is also positive, so it tells us it's being shifted up four. Okay, and then again, I would, for graphing, I would start by graphing the vertex, the H comma K, which is one comma four. So at one comma four, is our vertex, okay? And it's a cube root, so we know that it looks kind of like an S like this, like a flat S. And then we would, um, again, plug in points. So again, you can memorize um, the way that the function would work and then use that to do transformations. But personally, um, it's easier for me to just plug in values, okay? So for example, um, for things like cube roots and square roots, the values that I choose for X, I wanna be a little bit more strategic about it because I want to be able to um, choose values that are good, are, that are going to be easy to take the cube root of or the square root of, okay? So for example, it's easy to take the cube root of one. So what value of X is gonna give us one inside of the cube root? And that would be when X is two. So when X is two, then when we subtract one, that'll be one, cube root of one is just one times negative two, which gives us negative two, and then plus four gives us positive two. So when our X was two, that gave us a Y value of positive two. Okay, then let's try um, again. We wanna think about another value that's gonna be easy to take the cube root of. So another value that's easy to take the cube root of would be eight. So what value of X would give us um, inside the cube root would be eight, and that'd be when X is nine. So when x is 9, then when we subtract 1, that'll be 8. Cube root that will be 2. Times negative 2 gives us negative 4. And then plus 4 gives us 0. So when x is 9, the y value is 0. So we have a point here. And again, we want to use symmetries as much as possible. So for a cube root, the symmetry is a rotational symmetry, right? So if you go up a value and write a value, then to get another point, you would go down the same value and left the same value, okay? So this was our vertex here at the one comma four. And then to get to the next point, it was down to right one. So for our symmetries, it'd be up to left one. Okay, so that's a point right here. Okay, let's try to find, um, oh, and then another one would be down um, four and to the right, eight. Okay, so up four, one, two, three, four, and then to the left, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. Okay, and then we would connect these in order to make the graph. Okay, and again, do your best to make it nice and smooth. And remember, um, keep track of which point is your vertex or not, it's not technically called the vertex, but essentially our axis of symmetry. Okay, and um, yeah, so this is where things kind of turn around. So on this side, it curves this way and on this side, it curves this way. And that would be our final answer. So this would be our graph. Um, by plugging it, like by first graphing our vertex and plugging in 
x values that are strategic so that you know that you can take the cube root of it. And then again, the a, the h, and the k always tell us the same thing. The a tells us a reflection or a vertical stretch or compression. The h also always tells us the horizontal shift left or right. And the k always tells us a vertical shift up or down. 